Hello, this is Blue Heart Tattoo. I just got enough rest and now I'm ready to do you know, a reaction to episode 2 of Conquest. Uh, as you can see almost in the background. <laughs> Sorry. As you can almost hear some buzzing in the background, that means my AC is on, but I decided to close some of my doors to block the sound out. I'm probably gonna, you know, is probably gonna be gone, you know, when I going to clean you know, the audio, but I hope it's not too distracting. And let's go ahead and get into episode two, Conquest, Conquest, no, episode two, Past and Future. Another almost two hour long episode. Um, as we're speaking right now, I am ren you know, rendering the reaction to episode one. It's gonna take forever to render it. About four hours. So I'm probably gonna release that someday soon, someday soon when it's finished and hopefully on my days off. And that the same thing goes to episode two. Once I get, you know, get the video and the audio all, you know, all together. In three, two, one, play. Warning. The following contains strong language and scenes of violence. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> One hundred years. It took one hundred years to finally exact my revenge, and it's as delicious as I imagined. All this time researching, preparing, and gathering my allies. If we work together, attack as one, they will not be able to stop us. No longer will we be a slight nuisance, but an infestation! One which will take over their precious land and spread our reach as far as we wish and last as long as we please! I will join. I have nothing to lose and only potential to gain. As will I. I'll join a filter in the end. I suppose this could be fun. So long as my subjects are not put in danger of those alicorns. Oh, I know we can do it. After all, you have me has paid off as we defeated our greatest enemy. Sister! I'm guessing those kind of screams are from the spider. That kind of fact reminds me of D&D &D a little bit. Oh, those screams. Gives me chills. Extra convincing. I I do not believe this is wise. So you want to drag us into another war, huh? Is that how those maniacs are betraying us? It's not bad enough that they nearly kill us, they have to go and make us out as monsters? With Equestria, we would gain its resources, its citizens, land. There is much to be gained with this union. We have many powerful allies on this team. Those with great power who have come close before, this would be a great opportunity for your kind to be able to flourish once again. All right. I guess it's worth a shot. At least we'll get a chance to kick their ass a bit. I suppose so. I we still love Strive. Sources, though this is not ideal. And this union is far from perfect. You do, you pompous fuck. Of course I do. I always know. Trust a changeling? Surely you jest. I am the leader. I brought you dolts together, and I shall be the head. Without me, you. I have a feeling that right. Chrysalis will we be the one to betray to them because she wants she all the power. Like she's very power hungry. That would make sense if she was not wearing to compromise and share the power. Conquer this world for now. We must take time to assess our current circumstances and prepare for our next attack. There's nothing to fear. Please, calm down. The King and Drada Queen have arrived. Finally. Everyone quiet down. The King and Queen of the Cardozoans and Driders, respectively have come to address you. Good evening, citizens of Canterlot. 
I am Fortis Dux II, King of the Cardozoans, and this is Ilvaria, Queen of the Driders. Tonight's events were unexpected, frightening above all. We have come to assure that we mean no harm to you, your land, or former leaders. There is no need to panic or cry. We come to you with good intentions. It will take time for you to adjust, we understand. We do not ask for you to bow or obey our words entirely. At this time, we only ask for some cooperation. Do not fight or cause any trouble. After we have finished speaking, each of you will be escorted back to your homes so that you may rest. Those in need of medical attention will be treated at the tents we have set up behind you, to your left. If your homes are too damaged to live in, we will have accommodations made for you in the castle. For those who have concerns about this new situation, we ask you to address these with the guards or soldiers who will be around to assist you if need be. They will come to us, and we will do what we can to help ease your anxieties and fears. We apologize for the pain and fright we have caused you this night, and hope you are able to get some rest. Ensure any split families are back together, the elderly are faring well, and they be returned safely to their homes. Of course, sir. I hope the damage isn't too extensive. I gave clear orders to preserve what they could. Sir, we have the current status report for the damage as well as perished fighters and citizens. Go on. <clears throat> for the citizens, we have currently counted 22 injured, 8 seriously injured, and 1 dead. 37 fighters on our side have suffered injuries, 19 suffered severe injuries, and 6 dead. As for the others' fighters, 111 injured, 72 severely injured, and 45 dead. The damage to the city is fairly low. Some buildings have collapsed, mostly cracked windows, walls, some damaged property, and the castle is mostly intact. We're slowly working toward finding any more lost or trapped citizens. Ensure the fallen ponies receive proper burials, and their families are notified with our sincerest apologies. The injured children, mares, and elderly should be dealt with first. I would also like to have builders working on fixing the homes. Pony workers as well, if any are willing. Let them know they will be given good pay. Yes, sir. <sighs> I suppose death was inevitable. We did the best we could. Yet it still feels as if it was not enough. How about we go and see if we can help with some of this cleanup? I'm sure there's a pony or two we can assist. Mm-hmm. Intro time! Queen Sombra, Nick Dog, Tent 12, Queen Thera, Fate's Voice VA, T-Rex, Happy Gunner, Filter Nuya, Chrysalis, Pretty Pegasus Wings, I said it right this time, Queen Nera and Nightmare Moon, Flatty Flaudy Voice, Discord Fortis, Pony Grove, Stress. I'm guessing all the art behind here is the sneak peek of the episode. That's what I'm guessing. P Conquest. Produced, directed, scripted, and edited by Pretty Pegasus Wings in Fee Chart 920. There you are. You're not too injured, are you? Why would you care? Just because we came here to take over doesn't mean we do not care for your well being. And I don't appreciate your ungrateful attitude. Don't hurt me! Go to the city square. Now. The nerve of these citizens. 
I know we came in and defeated their leaders, but you'd think they'd have enough common decency to thank someone when they saved their life. Darling? Hmm. Oh, oh. Yes. They are fairly rude. What's the matter? Their silence is worrying me. I apologize. I fear I am not in a speaking mood at the moment. What's on your mind? It is fine, Ovaria. I do not wish to... Fortis, dear, don't you dare tell me you don't want to be a bird. You are going to tell me what's going on, or I will put you into the most accommodating sleeping chambers and force you to sleep. <sighs> this is not what I thought it would feel like. All my life, I had been told how cruel they were, how they wanted nothing more than for us to die. The grand feelings of accomplishment I would experience when leading my armies through their streets in victorious conquest. Yet, I feel none of this. They were not cruel. Well, the citizens had nothing to do with this. Only to stop or slow us down. The way they Just because the enemy is finding you doesn't mean that everyone is against you. Have nothing to do with this. Yeah. Their screams and cries. I understand, dear. It was a mess back there. Even a little disturbing. But you have nothing to be blamed for. The alicorns have hurt many through the years. Be it intentionally or not. They've had this coming for a long, long time. The ponies will come to understand and accept one day. Thanks to this victory, your kind will have all they need to live and prosper. But at what cost? There are still those who perished. Innocent beings. It would be on the alicorns for not being able to properly protect their own. You, my dear, are already a great king. Part of this is making tough decisions and dealing with hard situations. You're already doing so well. The citizens are getting the treatment they need. Many soldiers are still alive because of your strong words convincing them to keep going. And your leadership will give the ponies more than those princesses ever could. Ask yourself how good they were to begin with. Where were they when Canterlot was attacked? Stuck up in their little castle, watching their citizens run in fear and their soldiers be injured. Give it time, Fortis. I'm sure you will feel better once all is calm and your work as a leader comes together. That was a bit strange. Exactly. What kind of leader leaves their citizens to face the danger, their soldiers to run in without guidance? They were, and always will be, spineless cowards. Now you have the opportunity to give true care to the ponies. Show them the love you do with your own home. Before you know it, they will be cheering your name in appreciation and adoration. Thank you, Ilvaria. You truly are a great friend. Of course, darling. I will always be there for you. Let's go and check the West Sector and see if they need any help. My queen! King Fortis! What happened to the lot of you? Were you attacked? Ambushed? No, my queen. Only two. They were strong and took down so many of us. No casualties, thankfully. Two? They were formidable foes. But despite how strong they were, they seemed to have no intention of killing us. No one was killed? Not one, my queen. That doesn't make sense. It is strange. What do you think we should do, Fortis? I am unsure. They do not seem to want to kill anyone. I doubt they would have fought at all had the armies not been attacking. But why were they running away if they're so powerful? They sound like two who would stay and fight for the princesses. For all we know, they could have been travelers and did not wish to be a part of the greater battle. It would be the best conclusion. What if it's not? What if they were working with the Alicorns? Will it ease your mind if we sent out hunters to find them? Do you have anything we could use to track them? Uh, blood? But there's so much, it'd be hard to figure out which is theirs. Does anyone have a description? White dragon. About five, six feet tall. Wears armor and wheels a scythe. Green blue earth pony who uses magic. An earth pony using magic? Do any of you know who the head hunter is? I do. Give him those descriptions. Make sure he takes his best and bring them to us alive. Yes, yes sir! sir. Oh, 
Oh, that poor pony. Well, if I knew that. Mm -hmm. 40 at least. Ah! Okay, I could see fair cutie marks much closely. As always. I thought it was implied. Never hurts to check. He's not too meaty. I suppose this one will be mine. Sorry, I'm a bit stuffy. To his frightened cries. Yes, keep fighting. It helps the blood flow. <laughs> You are right, darling. There was something to gain after all. Do not speak so soon. This can still fall apart at any moment. As true as that is, I cannot help but swell at the looks my citizens gave, knowing what the future holds. And seeing all this land, imagine what we can do. Giving false hope, are we? Oh, filter! <laughs> I jest, my dear. So, when are you going to tell me what you get from this? A little excitement, discoveries, connections, your Inavaria's happiness. That cannot be all. What more could I want than meeting a hidden civilization or seeing your kingdoms thrive? Because I know you too well. well there may be, there may not. Of all the times you play games with me. Life would be too simple if we did not have fun with one another. It is a bit late for that kind of talk, dear. Is it? Remember who controls the celestial bodies. Ah, yes. We will have to call on a favor sometime. Oh, there they are. Ilvaria, Fortis, over here! Hello, darling! Who is that? A petty thief who shall be dealt with. At a time like this? I am afraid so. Uh, is he? Oh, no, no, no. Yours is far meatier. You are so wonderful, my sharp-eyed hunter. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten your wounds checked? I plan to, once all is taken care of. Yes, of course. How about I take you to the infirmary now? Now? But... You cannot lead if you are in pain. Once we take care of your wounds and you have a good night's rest, you will give better service to both ponies and Cartazonans alike. Pain? Do not play stupid with us, Fortis. No, I honestly do not know what you are speaking of. What do you feel? You... touching me? <laughs> of course he can't feel pain! Alvaria, meet us at the balcony overseeing the hills to the west. Bring your bracelet. Fortis, with me, now. Is something- Very. Now go. I pray to whatever gods you worship that you're not internally bleeding. That explains a lot. And yet I am not surprised. What should we do in the meantime? How about we finally take the time to have some girl talk? After all, we have yet to have any alone time. How true. What we need is a nice long spa day. A spa day? <gasps> you do not know what a spa is? Have you never been pampered? Griskel does look after me when he deems I need it. When everything is taken care of, you and I are going to the nearest spa and getting a full treatment. There will be plenty of hoof care, mud baths, and massages. Oh, how wonderful it all sounds. Wait and see, dear. Wait and see. brought to their knees and the citizens satisfied we will start the next phase it's some time away but planning will commence once we are closer to our current objective interesting far more thought out than i expected you didn't think we'd dive in unprepared did you no no any would be foolish not to i imagine you had planned up to the princess's total surrender their spirits broken and their hopes shriveled and dead. Is that how far you would plan? To an extent. There would also be the subduing of the citizens and the assurance of my reign. Of 
fair plan, if a bit short. I would have thought you or the others would have done more by this point. Particularly with the citizens kissing your hooves. What I wouldn't give to turn at least half of them into love factories. Please tell. What could be stopping you? Are you or are you not a great queen? I'm afraid my hooves are tied by our little alliance. You're going to let them stop you from having fun? Reaping the power you deserve? We made a magic bond, which you will have to swear to. As if I would let something so frivolous stop me. The Queen of the Changelings bowing to their wishes. Imagine what you could do if you imposed your dominance over them. How the world would bend to your whims and their power at your call. Do you know why I made this alliance? Because you are weak? <sighs> I hate to admit it. But we are only so strong alone. <laughs> See how fast Equestria fell with us working together? How more assured it is. Far more than it was in our initial attempts. The only way to ensure our victory is to work together, including you. From what I've read, your reign lasted for some time. It was nearly a sealed deal. If it weren't for those elements... Even so, you managed to hold your claim for at least three days. An impressive feat. Hmm. It was, wasn't it? Hence why I brought you back. You are a powerful, fearsome ruler. And I only want the best to be here by my side. Maybe we can get along after all. You seem to be the most sensible of the bunch. If you ever want to truly rule, I would not mind joining you. We could do great things together, Chrysalis. We truly would. I have the sister song from The White Christmas stuck in my head watching these two. Her room? Why? Is it not regal enough for you? I figured the night colors would suit you. Never mind. It will do. Now, the spell. Let's be done with this. Do you, Nightmare Moon, swear to abide by the rules of our pact? To work with us, to not think of betraying our alliance, so far as to not allow another to die if preventable. Yes, yes, now be done with it. I'm always oppressed by the sound design of this. You must have worked very I hard to make it sound so amazing. I presume the duties of the moon will go to me. That now belongs to Alvaria. It is mine! The sky and all the stars within it! And, unlike you, Alvaria earned her right to wield it and my trust. Sure, your thoughts align more with mine, but you are too unpredictable for my liking. If you want it, you will have to earn it. <sighs> Fine. Don't bother trying to move it. The spell filter used didn't transfer any of Luna's talent. What? As of now, you are your own being. If you want a talent, you'll have to find it on your own. Anything else? Have a lovely evening. What a fool. Does she truly believe she can keep the moon from me? Those allies, the night sky, this land and all who inhabit it, they will be mine. One day soon, all mine. <laughs> She's not gonna last long. First, to rid myself of the consequences of this bond. Then my second phase shall begin. Everyone, please calm down. Eat any more and your sun will expand. I did it. I did it! Luna, did you see that? Another night. Another moon they sleep through. Who goes there? What's going on? 
No, none would be so foolish. <laughs> In time. Now he must focus. Victory is close at hoof. <laughs> Are those her memories? Love, huh? That's the last thing I would have expected to be weaponized. Or friendship. They weaponized friendship? The elements were labeled based on the foundations of friendship. Shit. Pony magic is... different. Any ideas for how to invade the Crystal Empire? My biggest problem is this heart. It says it shields them from harm and is powered by... light and hope. Can't they power it with magic? Does it have to be feelings and shit? How the hell is <laughs> The crystal heart has a mind of its own. And next you're going to tell me all their magic rocks and shit have feelings. Magic is a curious force. Hmm. I'd say our best bet is to keep them from feeling hopeful. We could send a spy or something to cause trouble, drag their spirits down. The problem is there's a chance they'll get found out or it might not be enough. In which case, we must do more. Spies would be a good start. We could begin setting up the blockade so they lack food or resources. Something... Spread that I forgot to say in the last little action, idea. the whole series kind of gives choice. me a Game of Thrones vibe like to the, it. The princess, maybe the heart thing? If we had something that could block its magic, it could work. I can ask Tyrik. He may know how to block the heart's magic or absorb its blast. Not a bad idea. I say we should try to intimidate them to run, get them out of the comfort of their homeland. There's always going to be runaways, might as well take advantage of it. And our goal is that crystal heart. Citizens be damned. We still want them on our side. Not I. I get this whole being nice thing sucks for bastards like you, but you can at least try. The ponies are one case. Them, another. Let me guess, dark, tragic past? Yes. Cliché as it is, we do have a history. And yet you want the Empire. It should have been mine. Let's back up the crazy a moment. That's why you know so much? Unfortunately... What happened? Must you know? I'm helping you conquer a fucking empire, why shouldn't I? <laughs> Prejudice. Because you don't sparkle. Seriously, they sparkle. <laughs> it's the heart's power. It coats them in its magic, filling them with light and hope. Technically, anyone could when touched. Though they have a special affinity with it, being part Umbrum, it only burns me. Okay. I can't tell you more. I barely know anything myself, but what I do know is that they are trapped within that heart. And I'm guessing those ponies put them there. Now, can we focus on the mission? I get where you're coming from, but the last guy I saw let this vengeance and justice shit drive him, it made him go cuckoo. But to be <laughs> honest, I don't know how to feel about you, but I got this feeling you're not too bad. Even if it was someone like Discord, I don't want to watch that happen again. Do me a favor and relax. Was this a friend? Thought he was someone to look up to. So, you were betrayed? More like the guy lost his mind. Wasn't even a Cartazanan anymore. How so? He was acting like a jackass, claiming he was better and shit. Nearly ruined the Empire. If it wasn't for Fortis, I would have found a way to slice his throat. Why Fortis, exactly? Fortis made me promise not to. The bastard made life miserable for him, but that didn't matter. Does his word mean that much to you? Even if killing him would be better for Fortis? It's more than that. Loyalty is one of the things we value most. And yeah, even if I didn't, I'd still listen. I was kind of hoping he'd do something that betrayed our values so I could call him a traitor and have him killed, but it was wishful thinking. You mind if we change the subject? Hmm. Do you know what chess is? I've kicked ass at it more times than I can count. How about we play it sometime? Alright, have some good shit ready. <laughs> sit down, have fun, relax, and do it right. When we get back from our conquest. Deal. Uh, is that... Ah, shit. <laughs> Better make sure they don't crash those things into the earth. We have to keep moving. We don't have time to rest. We have... Been running through rough terrain for hours. What kills us to slow down to a walk for a few minutes? It could. We don't know anything about them or their forces. We have to keep a distance between us and them. Then carry me. I can't run much farther. By the gods, Blue, can't you have Pitter carry you? 
How well do you think a giant scorpion can move through a dense forest? Let me answer that for you. Not very. If it keeps us moving, fine. Wait. Did you hear that? I do. Don't worry, I can hide us if they get closer. I've got a plan. Dad, what's your plan? Turning into a tree always works! Not when the tree is shaking like a scared child. I didn't expect them to be three times my size. We fight monsters for a living. Monsters that aren't smart! I can barely understand for proof their echoing. Try and keep a steady hoof. Ease it along the arc as I showed you. Am I doing this right? I don't think we are. You will in time. Or everyone dies. Uh, they could die? <laughs> oh, I remember this audio. I thought... <laughs> I thought that was just an April, oh, April Fool's video. All the poor ponies were must be having a heart attack. Hey, baby. I am sorry. Manipulating magic with one's hoof is a fair challenge. My cat Percy has sorry. come to join I'm us. Sorry. Isn't that right, baby? What the hell is going on up here? Ah, shit, what's going on with you? <laughs> Things I do for you. <laughs> I love you too, darling. Everything is under control. Clearly. My king, we have apprehended the assailants. Uh -huh. Are you sure? They do not look dangerous. Perhaps we shouldn't underestimate them quite yet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry we ran off. Please don't kill us. We didn't want to get caught up in the mess. Please have mercy. I stand corrected. Are you sure these are them? They, uh, fit the description perfectly. So, what did these two do? They managed to defeat several guards on their way out of Canterlot without killing any. And? Does this not concern you? Two fighters trying to get the fuck out of the crossfires of war? <laughs> working for those alicorns. Considering their apparent strength and skill. Many solid years of adventuring will do that for someone. Have to make a living somehow when most of Equestria doesn't like you. Can you not make a fool of yourself? I'm sorry, I didn't feel like dying today. Uh huh. I understand your concerns, General Strife. Considering their current location at the time of our invasion, and that one's fears of death. We have no intention of killing you, if this is what you are afraid of. Uh, he's saying they should know we won't, because if we wanted them dead, the soldiers and hunters they fought would have done it already. <sighs> Ignore her, she's a complete coward. This is not the first time she's acted this way. See, Ilvaria? They are not a threat. Hey, Ignore him, I recognize this music in the background. So a point. Can we truly make such Do you use such a lot of classical music in this? Would that make it's quite refreshing, I haven't heard any... Yes. Classical music and audio drama since Sprite of Discord. And yet, you have not asked them why they were there or who they are. Uh, you're right. Apologies. Uh, I guess you're right. Could you explain your situation? We had business in Canterlot, and when we saw the army, we booked it. It's not a mess we wanted to get ourselves caught up in, especially once we spotted changelings. What kind of job? We were sent to capture and relocate a Tatsuan that has been causing trouble in the next town over. That sounds dangerous. Should we send a few soldiers over there? Ensure the town is safe? It was one of the more urgent ones on our list. There's a list? Don't get him fucking started. I swear, if I have to manage another set of shit, the princesses couldn't be bothered to take care of themselves. Another set? The ponies have already been sending us issues and shit from all over. I was stopped about five times on my way here. Apparently, they've been sitting on their asses a while. How much is there? I said don't start. I will fucking handle it. You gotta... <laughs> what plate? Uh... Well, it's still our job. We're more than capable of taking care of it ourselves, if you'll let us. Holy shit, someone I can rely on. Wait a moment. You were the one being suspicious of them! 
Now you're thankful? Whatever they did, they're pardoned. How much did you get paid? Hell, what's the currency here? We have plenty of Eos to spare. Ponies call them bits, but it's mainly gold, silver. We'll be thankful for whatever you can give us. Glad you were able to settle the issue, if that will be all. I would like to retreat to my room. Good day to you. Let me shade you, darling. We should have some tea together later today. Uh, get to know one another. Uh, perhaps you can help us better understand Equestria, its culture, and how to befriend ponies. We could do that. <laughs> I have good news, everyone! Fuck me, you couldn't have waited till I was gone. I'll have you know, Sky and Gale checked in at the Empire's medical wing. But if you don't find that important enough, the baby is coming? Nah, I thought we had another week. Baby? I'm sure there'll be plenty of time to explain while you wait. Why did you bring them? Oops. I must have caught them up by accident. Should have dismissed them before I snapped. Accident, my ass. Well, they're here now. At least you can watch them so they don't sneak off. Why in the hell would they sneak off? I just hired them, and don't you fucking tell me you didn't know, all seeing God. I wasn't the one being paranoid in the first place. Could we please do this another time? Oh, fine. We don't want to miss the baby. So, who's this Gail? What is this all about? Relations. It's some dumb thing the council came up with to give the citizens hope. Since our defeat at the hooves of the Alicorns, we have had to rebuild the Empire from the ground up with those whom we had. Only the strongest were able to survive this ordeal, leading to a strict mindset of pairing with the best to ensure a healthy and strong line. So, the council, in an attempt to build a stronger defense, took this idea and started a system of choosing pairings with those who were willing and accepted into this to create a line of powerful fighters. It is said the one being born today will be of the greatest to come from this. There is hope the baby will be born female, so she may be paired with the other holding vast potential. Only reason they're hyped up on it is because the other bloodlines got shitty over time. Had kids that were considered defective, making their lines ineligible, or the kids refusing to be paired at all. By some miracle, these two managed to make it to this point. What is up with kids these days? No respect for their elders forcing them into marriage for the good of their kingdom. It's a surprise the project wasn't given up after such a long time. That's because the old farts are all about traditions and shit, and the higher-ups are crazy about bloodlines. Not all think that way. Yeah, gives me peace knowing Sky and Gale have a good head on their shoulders, unlike the other two. Um, other two? Ugh, what sort of display is this? It must be the entertainment, dear. To distract the poor thing from the pain of it all. Introducing the scum of the Empire and their Hellspawn. Feel free to turn back now. No one will blame you. Hmm. If <laughs> not the this car looks like he's having a camera. Sky. Gail, how wonderful it is to see you. Fortis, I am so glad to see you're alive. I have seen worse battles. You can never be sure when it comes to those alicorns, seeing what they're capable of. How are you doing, Sky? Is the baby faring well? The doctor said there shouldn't be any issues at this point, unless they see something when the baby arrives. I hope she comes out soon. It shouldn't be long now. Before you know it, she'll be right here in our hooves with your eyes. I love these lion designs. Won't have the best of both of us. I do not know when I will be able to check on you again, but I do intend to send a charm over to you once all is calm in Canterlot. Don't worry about that. You have two kingdoms to manage. It will be no trouble, especially for a friend like you. And I'll be on his ass the whole time so he won't be too stressed. You better take good care of him. I don't want to attend his funeral with a newborn. If we can help out any more here, please let us know. You're doing enough. Focus on raising the kid, right? <laughs> uh, a baby! Ah, oh, shit. Nurse! Harris, the spell. Take deep breaths, dear. Like the doctor taught you. We're going to labor! <laughs> 
sky. I'm going to need you to push. Ready? One. This two, must be awkward three. for them. Push. You're doing great. Again. One, two, three. I see the head. One more time. Get ready to push. What is it? Is the baby okay? Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is she dead? Let me see. <gasps> Defect. What's wrong with our child? She is a disgusting blight. That is what she is. If I had known. How dare you? She's adorable. I never have agreed to let our son near you, let alone that thing. That is our daughter you're speaking of. Claiming that thing as yours? I expected better from you, Gail. You best hope your family has more sense. As if we can control how our child is born. Clearly, you must have done something. We've done far more than you ever will. Check your trap. All you had to do was provide a proper daughter. Should have known you were only good for your skills in the field. How about I show you my skills personally? Please, calm down. I won't lay here and let you insult my family. All right. Let's cool down. We got babies. Now I wonder if my family is more dramatic than them. Yes. Then what's the problem? The problem is she is defective. She cannot reproduce with our son and is a failure after years and years of careful selection. You saying she can't be great without a horn? Maybe sometime you should go out and meet one of our amputee soldiers. Bet they could take you both out missing a limb or two. Unless you're coward you were back then. How dare you employ I love Strive so much. Came the moment it got too rough for you. Don't think for a minute I'm buying that they forced me to go bullshit. We all know they hated you. Only reason you're still breathing is because your daddy paid for your life. If you think your <laughs> will go unpunished, what are you going to do? Fortis the First isn't around. His son's in charge. The council knows the empires can't lose me unless you want to fight. Mm, I do not have time for this. Like I said, coward to the end. Hope your son <laughs> has more balls than you. You want to see balls? Let her go! Don't you! No. Harris, this is going too far! Drop the child at once. Once General Strife takes back what he said... You wouldn't fucking dare. It is not as if her life means anything. The act would be no more than squashing a pest. Don't you even dare! Arrested. Any move, and she will be crushed. Well... What the... Oh, Discord seems pissed. Time to get you somewhere safe. Is everyone all right? My baby. She is here in my hooves. Oh, thank goodness. Tell the guards there's a situation in the medical ward. Make sure they know Harris is the instigator. Yes, sir. What about the baby boy they had? The other full. We cannot leave him there, not when his father has gone mad. I don't think Strife will let any harm come to that child. Uh, the baby, that is, not the stallion. You piece of fucking shit! My baby! You don't deserve this baby. Should... should I stop this? Will he do so? Everything will be fine. Should I take Sky away, in case there are more? More of what? A lot has happened since you left. It has only been a day. How much could have happened? There have been many zealous supporters. With the conquests of Equestria, it sparked many who thought the dream was dead. The moment word was sent here of your victory, there was an uproar. It happened so fast, but the streets were blazing, more so at the poor districts. Talks of radical ideas and how to utilize the new land led to massive fights breaking out. I already fear the news of our child will- Help, please don't! What do you fear? That they would kill our child, like they did to the others. To kill a foal? Who would dare? <sighs> Things are changing, Fortis. With everything progressing as quickly as it has, with a change in power and this conquest- Chicken shit is on his way to the dungeon and his wife's in holding. Bitch tried to kill Myrna, but we're letting her off with a warning, so it was about her kid. Until a decision is made, we're keeping the baby. After that, you can decide what happens to him. 
I am unsure if the Empire is a safe place for any child right now. When has it ever been a great place for raising a family? There is some crisis yeah. happening, Strife. Sky and Gale have told me there are Cardizonans raging in the streets, causing chaos, killing fellow citizens. Fucking hell, I thought something might come up, but this soon... We can't keep her. Can we? I am sure we can find a way. They won't let her live. Not when they see her. If it's not Harris, it's another group who wants her dead, all because she has no horn! Sky, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! You saw what they were doing. They called for some rebirth! A new era, and I see it. Nothing but blood and hatred. We can't raise a child in this environment. And we can't leave either. There will be others who can take our place. I need you, Gail. In the studies. Your spells will help create stable shields to protect against them. When I recover, the Sky Brigade will need me to lead. We have to send her away. Far away until all is calm. Fortis, please take her. Me? Why must I? I know ponies are known for their hatred and violence towards us, but I believe with your guidance, you can make the land a kinder and just place to live. But, but the Empire. Equestria what about this card? He could put her in the, the her, his dimension. Justine and Antigra are already hard at work whipping everything into shape. And you've got all the help you need, right, ladies? You agree with her? What's well, not to agree with? Ponies are pansies, so they won't try and hurt her. And you're as soft as they come. I've seen you put wannabe soldiers in their place. You can handle a baby. Can't be too different. Well, I mean... Maybe this could teach him how to take care of something so he can take care of himself. Take time off from working himself to death. See? Baby gets a good home, you're forced to take breaks, everybody wins. <laughs> hmm. hmm. And what about the other baby? If this is going to cause problems for her, then him too. Perhaps you should take on part of this responsibility too, Strive. Ha! <laughs> Me taking a baby. You do handle the recruits so well. Is that not the same thing? If not you, then I could. Oh, I've always wanted to have my own little baby to raise. I wouldn't trust you with a fucking cotton ball. That's not a no. While we appreciate the offer, I feel it would be best if one of us were to take the child. Like hell I'm letting you take both. We could help. If we're already going to do some work, we could offer our help too. How can you help if you need to travel across Equestria? Oh, that. <laughs> Taken care of. You mother- Perhaps they can help instruct some of our soldiers on what to do and where to go when they are unable. See? Everything will work out. Besides, can you trust anyone else to raise this child? Thank you. Both of you. Of course. And please, come visit Canterlot whenever you can. I am sure... Did you ever decide on her name? We have talked about it for some time. Azur. Like the sky, I want her to be free and open. More importantly, I know one day she will grow to be a beautiful mare. A perfect name for our perfect little girl. And Fortis's too. You are going to be the one she calls father after all. It may be tough, but we will try to visit when we can. Absolutely. I want to see the mane she grows. Say goodbye, little one. Goodbye, my sky. Be safe. So they are memories. Is that a monster? How did you become such an artifact?
a lot less torn than I would have thought. I'm trying to get my sock. You've seen better days. She changed everything back. Nothing that can't be fixed later. Stiffer than I remember, and needs some updating, but a fitting throne for the future ruler of these lands. Will I ever get one, or could I share it once your head deflates? Who's there? What do you have to do with the terror of the weak and I deal with enough terror and sleep, thank you. You should try it sometime. Reveal yourselves, cowards! This is it, Luna. All you have to do is ask. You need to know. Aha! What? Good morning. Oh, good morning, princess. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Better than normal? Uh, yeah, I did. It's the strangest thing. How so? I've been having this horrible dream where a beast consumes Equestria, but this time, something stopped it. Really? Yeah, <laughs> no idea what, but I'm glad something stopped it. Slept like a baby. Uh, princess? What? How? Never mind. Oh, person giving me all the kisses. Ah yes, my old chambers. Of course she would make this difficult for me. Sister, will you come with me as we raise the moon? I want to try something new with the night sky and... Yes. Yes, Luna. Very good. You said you would come. You promised. Luna, please. I have duties that are far more important than some sky. Ooh. I guess they are more important than me. Luna, wait, I- They've nearly broken through the barricade! These memories, they're not mine. Not truly. Why do they- No, I am not her. We are not one. Not anymore. Tonight marks my freedom from that prison. Focus. You need to focus. Where would that blasted mare hide my book? Hmm, the gardens? How ghastly. Some trimming is needed here. Nothing our gardener couldn't handle. Yes, I have yet to consider staff. I'll need some maids, someone to fix the stone, crafts ponies, no, 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 Percy. and Don't possibly you an artist those. so I can have a portrait done. Why she abandoned this place is beyond me. To think of how fond she was of this castle long ago, and here it stands, decaying. At least the sky is not changed. What are we supposed to do without him? Without him? We will find our way. I promise we will. No! Enough of this! We don't have time for this, Luna. That's easy for you to say. You've always been the natural-born leader. Always handling everything that comes your way. Well, I'm not you. This isn't easy for me, either. Oh, sure it isn't. You have the easy job, watching over the day. Now we have to take care of their duties on top of our own. No warning, no preparation. We don't have to do this alone. We'll face whatever's ahead together. Tia. Let me take care of the public. You defend against the night creatures. Little by little, we can get through this. Oh yes, together. 
Look how that turned out, little Miss Sunshine. Stop it. This has gone on for too long. I hope the mic is not picking up her purring. Figures. And in this old thing? As if she thought I would never look here. They're still here. We never got to finish this volume. <clears throat> Those aren't mine! Why should I care? No matter. I have what I came for. Now, to get away from this forsaken place. Oh, would you look at the time? If you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Toodles! <laughs> Good riddance. My king! I'm so glad to see you! Did something happen? No, nothing, my king. I thought I had lost you making a failure as an assistant and... Are those babies? Yes, they are. We have recently adopted them. Aww, they're so adorable! Holy shit, an emotion that isn't depressing. Wait... She... She doesn't have a horn. Fuck me. That is why she is here. As unfortunate as this may be, I intend to give her a good life here. You will? As an assistant? No, as my daughter. But why would she be an assistant? But... she doesn't have a horn. I do not see why this would be an issue. You truly are a kind king. Who's this? Aww. That's Fortis' assistant. She's new. You'll need baby supplies, won't you? I'll go take care of that. You go and, uh, relax. Yes, take a break because you were, uh, probably working. Sometimes I wonder if that girl needs more help than you. Speaking of, you did say you wanted help with the ponies, getting on better terms with them. What of the babies? Should we not get them settled? Let's all go together. We can walk and talk along the way. What did we do? They are not used to seeing large beings such as us. That's not what I meant. This is one of your first times walking around after... What is that? You've gotta be shitting me. Is that supposed to be me? Was this really his best idea? Are you surprised? Is it true? Did they take care of the tatzel worm? And why? I heard from my uncle they were well compensated for the damages. My sister said the lion horse's second in command was asking how he could help. I've noticed that too. The lion horses have been eager to help since arriving. Isn't that Blue and Myrna? If they're with them, then could they truly mean well? Then why are they with those things? This is going to be a long day. Either of you ladies know how to handle pony crowds. We're fighters, not public speakers. Why the fuck did I hire you then? For the advice. Citizens of Canterlot. Man, they are huge. We have come here today to help ease your fears of our presence. I want to assure you that we will be here to aid you wherever needed. From what my general has told me, there are many issues plaguing your home this land. For as long as we are here, we will do our best to mend these issues and build a greater, stronger Equestria. What about the others? Why do you care? I cannot speak for them, only myself and my own kind. We only came here in hopes we could use your resources to restore our dying land. For years, we have been in dire standings searching for a reasonable answer and were unable to if we could help it coming here storming your city and taking over by force would never be an option because of this i vow to ensure that you will be kept safe 
you should not suffer for our benefit, even if most of my fellow allies could care less for your well-being. One day, I hope you will come to accept us. Perhaps we can combine our lands, create a new and brighter future for us all. I understand your princesses have done little for you. I heard they have sat about and let their problems fester. Despite your fears and worries, all of which are understandable, you may agree that this could be a change for the better. I believe it can, and if you would give us a chance, we could make Equestria a place you can be proud of. And here I was thinking you'd be hopeless at handling the citizens. I've got to hand it to you. No one handles crowds like your big ass speeches. Thank you, <laughs> I suppose. Do you think that worked? Excuse me, kind lion. I am a cardozoan, ma'am. Do you mind helping me with my little home? It was destroyed by the fire spreading in my sector. There's something important I couldn't get to in time. We can certainly assist. Thank you. I knew you were a good boy the moment I saw you. Aww. Well, it's a start. What's this thing look like? It's an old helmet, about a few hundred years old. Is it yours? My family has passed it down from generation to generation. This it? Yep, it most certainly is. Anything you pass down? I don't know if you Cartesunans have traditions. Cartesunans, ma'am. My family does not have any heirs. We are <laughs> long lived, so we have few ancestors. But what about that sweet little girl on your back? She is not mine. But, well, she is now, but not of <laughs> my blood. I do not know if her family has much history. You should check with her mother. It'd be a real shame if she never got to pass anything on. I'm hoping to give this to my granddaughter when she finishes her training. You plan on keeping the army and guard going? Don't worry, they'll be up and running as soon as they calm down. Good. I don't know if I could forgive you if I never got to see my granddaughter wearing the old armor. I know it's not much, but you boys deserve something nice for helping. Oh, we could not. Please, take it. You'll need it to help pay for the damages. I know these next few months will be rough for you, but don't lose hope. Ponies can be a bit stubborn. Give them time. They'll come around. I love this old lady. Take care. And I love her design. I have never truly thought of it. Thought of what? The future. With children, a wife. I imagined marriage would come first, yet here I am. You thought about a family, but nothing past that? All I could think about was taking back our land and saving our kind. We have already accomplished this. It's still a bit early for that. I know, but what about after? What happens once everything settles? I find a queen, raise my family? What during all of this? This is going to take a while, isn't it? This is certainly going different than what I thought it would. That should take care of the sleeping arrangements. King Force will be so pleased. I see you are settling into your job nicely. Apologies, I didn't mean to spook you. Too deep in concentration? Uh, yeah. I've been trying to figure out how to make the environment more baby-friendly since King Forza General's Drive have adopted. 
the pony stuff is so small and nothing can be sent from the Empire in time. What does in strife have babies? <laughs> I can only see that turning to disaster. That only scared the shit out of him. Imagine my face coming out from behind some wall and yelling, Peekaboo! Well, <laughs> you have a phone. Your face could scare anyone. Are there any games that are less frightening? I'm going to continue to stand by my claim. Good afternoon, my king. Good afternoon, Autumn. I see you are having some fun with a friend. Oh, no! Griskel just came by. I will prepare your rooms for the babies. Holy crap. I know it's not perfect, but it's the best I could do. And the worker should be here soon. She said she'd rush over here as fast as she could. This looks well put together. I wouldn't have thought to use these like this. You have done a marvelous job, Autumn. Oh, uh, thank you. Why not go and rest? You deserve a break after all you have done. But... He is right. You should take a break. Besides, I came in looking for you too. Crystalis has called a meeting and requires your presence. Ah, fuck me. What does she want? Nothing useful, I imagine. What do we do with the babies? We can take them for the time being. It won't be any trouble. Are you- Thanks! Let's get this shit over with. With the plans moving smoothly, we should have the Icelands and the rest of Equestria fully in our grasp in no time. Once all has been settled between them, we'll be able to turn our forces to the deserts. More specifically, at Equestria's second ally, Saddle Arabia. Are you listening? <laughs> Could you keep your voice down? It's too early for this. Filter! Remove that thing! If you have not noticed, the sun is still up and I am a vampire. I would like to keep my face as is, thank you. We have an invasion to plan. There is no time for sleeping. Some of us have looks to maintain. You may not care about bags, but I do. Sonda, please tell me those plans are coming along. As well as can be. Strife and I shall have the Crystal Empire conquered within the night. At least that is moving. We just took down Cantalot and you're holding a fucking native. Huh? What? What's going? Who are we yelling at? This could be important. Shut the fuck up. I haven't slept for nearly two days. Two fucking days. And I won't be sleeping for a third because I'm dealing with the fallout of your shitty plan while you lollygag about. I have been preparing for our next stage of attack! Oh, you mean that thing Sombra and I have been doing? Because we've been teasing those princesses this whole time. Would you sit, close your trap, and listen? Please, it'll go faster. First the fires and the babies, not the bigger babies. What about babies? We are parents now. <laughs> oh, that is so funny, darling. <laughs> The thought of Fortis and Strife as parents on their own. <laughs> uh, do not worry, I shall offer my assistance. I appreciate that, Filter. Though we already have friends to guide us. You're already calling them friends? Who are these friends? Haven't you heard? Strife hired some extra help. They said they know plenty of Equestria and are strong fighters. Yes, they took care of your soldiers with such ease. Imagine what they'll do to the enemy. You hired enemy soldiers? We don't know that. How could you not know? You didn't check? Did they plant this idea of fatherhood? They did no such thing. It was the parents' idea, both of whom I know well. Do I get to be an aunt? Oh, um, I see of no reason why not. Then I approve. Can we please get back to the meeting so I can go back to sleep? You better hope they're not spies or so help me! We'll kick their ass. Now get on with it. <sighs> you and Summer have the Crystal Empire taken care of. Yeah, we got a plan, but I don't think I should be doing any traveling right now. If this baby interferes with my plans... I will happily plant you into the ground. <laughs> Sombra. Tyrek, would you accompany me? Anything's better than dealing with the lot of you. Great idea. Take your boyfriend. Don't make me wring your neck. Please do. You'd be doing all of us a great service. I will hold him down. Discord, would you shut it? As if I'm the biggest of your worries. If anyone should be chewed out, it's 
<laughs> what is the meaning of this? Well, well, well. Look who decided to finally join us. I was in the middle of something. Everyone was. Yet here they are without the need of assistance. And what is that? None of your business. Do I need to remind you of the terms I place for you? Save your breath. If this meeting was so important, I would have come. Let me guess. This is about the new area of conquest. What are you trying to say? I won't be partaking. Otherwise, you would have dragged me here sooner. So why am I here? You're here because you are a part of this alliance. All meetings are mandatory. Even if it's a waste of time? Puh. If I knew there would be so much nonsense, I would have asked to be killed once more. Not another word. Did I hit a nerve? You poor queen. Happen to deal with the problems made by yourself. How do you get anything done? Sit! As I have been trying to explain, we are well underway with my plans to take over the world. Within the next, let's be generous and say, five years, we shall have the majority of the world under our hooves. The lands with little to give are left to rot, and those powerful enough will join. And who, may I ask, do you intend to bring in next? Whoever I feel, and you will know when it happens. Excuse me for wanting some transparency. Depending on the land will determine who will go and in what pairs. Larger, stronger nations will require our strongest forces. Little ones, any of us will do. And how is all this conquering going to help us? Will answering lead to some speech? What's the answer? <sighs> I think we've heard enough already, and the important things have barely been covered. Can we say the answer is it will and end this meeting already? Over time, there will be renovations within populated areas, and we may need to change how the government works. Politics. Oh, lovely. There's something <laughs> new I get to learn. You signed up to be a part of this takeover! You knew full well there would eventually be politics! You never said there would. Neither did you specify how we should participate. Why not continue what we are already doing? Do we need to include other parties? I'm still open to the idea of me being the leader. Shut it! Are we done yet? Fine! We are done! Are you heathens happy? Very! How productive. I found this meeting all too amusing. Can it? Mortis, Strife, darlings, where are those babies of yours? They are with our new friends, Myrna and Blue. May I see them? I'm guessing you're going to take whatever we say as a yes. Maybe. Let's get it over with. I know the sun's still up, but would you like to come along, Filter? Ilvaria? Might as well, since I'm already awake. Huh? What is it, darling? Nira wants to see the new babies. Care to join us? I... Ugh, I, I'm not so sure. Is something wrong, dear? Um, no. Nothing is wrong. I'll... come join you. You must be the friends Fortis was talking about. I am Queen Niravera of the Bat Ponies. I'm Myrna, and this is Blue Spurs. How do I play with her? She's the size of me! <laughs> is she an alcoholic? When having to babysit multiple children, alcohol becomes a necessity. Could you see the babies so we can go and rest? Right, sorry, dear. Oh, look at how adorable you are, and bald, I think. Cartazone and foals are born with no mane. Sometimes a little bit of tuft, but it will grow. <gasps> look at how fuzzy you are. Imagine how you'll look in another few years. Oh, come look at them. This is interesting. They both have a distinct feel about them. What kind of feel? Their auras are strong. Okay. Come to Auntie Nira. <laughs> I could eat you up. You're too cute. Do not eat them. Figuratively, Fortis. Figuratively. Of course I wouldn't. But I'd hate to be the one who tried. 
I'd rip whoever tried to hurt a single hair on your head to shreds. Feed them to my wolves bit by bloody bit and laugh as they bled out before me. Yes, I would. <laughs> what? <laughs> could you not give Fortis a heart attack? I'm sorry, I could not help myself. Those babies are so precious. You made that very clear. Ilvaria, would you like to say hi? <sighs> Filter, darling, smack her for me. Leave me alone, I'm sleeping. Oh, she would love to see one. Hmm. Fortis, be a dear and give one to her. They need to meet their Auntie Ilvaria. All right. Wait, no! Is something the matter? I... well, it's not... Mm. It is only a baby. What will it do, smother you and cute? <sighs> I suppose it won't hurt. Are you sure? If seeing the babies makes you uncomfortable... I I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I don't think I can. Ilvaria! I will handle this. Ilvaria, we need to talk. There is nothing to talk about, Filter. You are crying over a foal. It isn't a big deal. I will be fine. Is this how you respond every time Fortis or Strife walk in with their children? You know you can tell me anything. I will learn to ignore it, and deal with it. So, you will allow the problem to fester, get to a breaking point in front of Fortis? Uh... Remember when I was unable to find a cure for your lost memories? How you reassured me it did not matter in our friendship? Did you stop when I told you to leave? No. Uh, I don't know what happened either. I felt a swell of emotion seeing the child. Uh, it hit me so fast, I felt as if something was missing. As if something was wrong. There is little I can do to ease you when I know nothing of your past, but what I can say is that whatever happened is behind you. Your future is with us and now Fortis. Have you considered filling this missing gap with him and his child? Perhaps being with him and the foal in a meaningful way will help to calm these feelings in time. I can't be a mother to the girl. I don't think Fortis would want me around that much. He's already so busy attending two kingdoms. My overbearing self is the last thing anyone needs right now. I believe he could. There may be a time he gets so lost in his work, he will forget he has a child to raise. Filter, I don't think I can. I'm in no way capable of helping to raise a child. I can barely keep myself together most of the time. Fortis could help with that. You make sure he rests and cares for the child, give her love, and in return he and the child will care for you. Do you believe he's not fretting over you at this very moment? That when you walk back in, he will not stay by you till he knows you are well? He shouldn't fret so much. It's not good for his health. And you think hiding your emotions is any better? No, it's not. <sighs> Fine. Let us head back before Fortis worries himself into a panic. All right. You do not think I pushed her too much, do you? Was it something I said? If anyone pushed too hard, it would be me. Now stop worrying. How can I not? She ran off in a panic over my child. Perhaps I should not be around until Azura is grown. Don't be stupid. Ovari is getting a little too emotional is all. Give her a second to calm down. Is this normal for her? Let's just say it's not uncommon for her. Ilvaria, I am sorry. I did not mean to make you upset. I'm fine, Fortis. You shouldn't fret so much. You did nothing wrong. What happened to your voice? Her voice has healed. What a miracle. This is my real voice. The one I used to keep up an image. An image? She's putting on an act. And now why would you want to do that? You have such a lovely voice. It's more imposing than the 
this, even though it hurts my throat to keep it up. I do not understand. Why do you want to sound imposing? Just let her believe it does. It makes her feel better. I don't think you need a voice to be imposing. My formal master's voice isn't too scary, but <coughs> when he uses that tone... <laughs> Nothing that should have well, he does sound ridiculous. I would have been fine. Oh no, she was far from fine. Ilvaria, darling, do we need to have you on constant watch like Fortis? What do you mean? Ignore her. You are our friend. Of course we're going to care and worry about you. Especially when you run out of here in a panic. And you do not need some silly voice to be a strong queen. You already are. I'm not sure what happened. A lot of emotion overwhelmed me and I didn't know what to do but leave. It is alright. Why not come and sit a moment? We can have some tea and talk. Perhaps all this conquering has gotten to you. I can get the tea ready. Please do, dear. Tea sounds lovely right now. If everything is settled, I will be returning to my chambers. Have a wonderful day, Varya. Oh, uh... Hello, little one. As you're... Please step away. Ilveria does not wish to see you. No, Fortis. I... I need to do this. Are you sure? Mm. I do not want you to panic again. I will do my best to control myself. My queen, if this is going to be an issue... Grisco, let me do this. Come here, little one. You are so tiny and fuzzy. She is so beautiful. <laughs> is crying a normal reaction? Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, it looks like Lance is getting tired. He's all curled up. Had enough with the playing? He does look pretty cute. I think it's time for their nap. Ilvaria, could I take Azure? Oh, of course. Here you are. Come, little one. You need your rest. Time to dry out those beds. I will protect this baby with my life, I swear to you. Strife and I take care of the foals? Of course, sir. This is where we'll break through. You will distract the masses and remaining soldiers while I make my way to the Crystal Tower. With Princess Cadence and the hearts in my possession, we will take the remaining ponies and quarantine them until further notice. The Yaks will be next. Living so close to the Empire, we can take them out simultaneously. After that, I believe it would be in our best interest to wait to take the rest of the Icelands until we have fully secured the Princess and the Heart. Am I allowed to be rough with those ponies? So long as they are not killed. Already a better plan than the invasion of Canterlot. You can thank Strife as well. If it went for him, the plan wouldn't nearly be as thought out. That Carta... Uh, mm, uh, what were they called? Cartazonans. Hmm. Yeah, I've been wondering like too. Troublesome type, at least for us. Depending on what you mean by troublesome. You don't think he wouldn't be on someone's heels if he got a whiff of any dissenting action? Unless you are planning something. I never said I was. Why does everyone assume I am? Oh, I wonder with your long history of... Betrayal and your foul attitude. Personally, I feel we should start making friends. <laughs> you? Considering friendship? As much as you dislike the idea, we need to make strong bonds with some of them. The more we're in their favor, the better. What do you plan on using? The magic of friendship? I plan to make nice with them so they want to kill me less. Besides that, Strife makes good company. Ugh, that loudmouth. Considering yours, his is far more pleasant. You want me to make friends with him too? Do what you please. I simply want to make this experience mostly enjoyable, even beneficial. This will break up eventually. Don't you want to have more than myself to turn to if anything happens? I don't need anyone but myself. We all said the same before. Where did that end up? Failure. You don't have to be nice to everyone. Pick who you want. I recommend Strife. He's smart and his snark could lead to fun bashing sessions. Mm. I'll consider it. If you wouldn't mind sharing, what do you plan to do now that you're free? From what I understood, you wanted equestrian ruins. Not that you could now. 
Hmm, perhaps I'll find some private land to live on. Or I could take over one of the kingdoms in our sights. Do both. Take the land, make it your own private estate. Why not take some rebels? Turn them into your servants? <laughs> I think I'll take you up on that. You plan on keeping the Empire, right? Not that anyone else would want the Icelands. Chrysalis and those other ladies would complain about it being cold. Discord could care less for land, and Fortis will most likely take Equestria. He's the only one who cares about the ponies. Makes sense. Leave the weak with the weak. I wouldn't speak so soon. This is only the beginning. Whatever. So long as we crush those damn princesses and their followers. Once we secure our reign, I couldn't care less how much they do. Do you need any time to prepare, or do you want to get this over with? The sooner the better. I couldn't agree more. I wonder if T-Rex will ever think about Scorpan. Or it is in the key of life. Do not speak like that. We can get through this. There have been worse odds. Worse odds than every single enemy coming together under one wretched goal. Wait, is there blood yellow? And our allies. They will be able to stop them while we sit here. Rotting away, nothing more than ragdolls for them to beat their frustration upon. At least we are together. They easily could have separated us. But for how long? Oh, dear sister. Oh, sister, my poor little sister. You make me sick. You! What, Luna? You didn't miss me? The day I felt your influence leave me was a blessed one. Even after all I did to make your night loved. How cruel. What do you want? Don't act as if you care. I know somewhere in you, you're still as selfish and narrow-minded as ever. It's right there in your eyes, even now. You have no right to call others selfish. Do I? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Give it time. You'll see it one day, and Luna will come crawling back, begging to be one with me again. In fact, I'll be willing to take you back now if you'd like. Since your self-absorbed sister destroyed all I worked for, I'll need help rebuilding my kingdom. I cannot believe you. Asking for my help as if I would ever stand by your side. No? What a shame. Then you can rot here, waiting for help that will never come. Or die trying to escape. I can't wait for the day. Because when push comes to shove, your beloved sister will only let you down. Yes, I can see it. You two da, running da, da, for your da, fleeting da. lives as I give chase. Da, 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 and as da, I approach, da. she trips you, run for the hills. Your body to remind you of my love. For her <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> as soon as she says, push comes to shove, I can't help it. Oh, please try, I beg you. <laughs> when I get out of this cage and reclaim my magic, I will ensure you will never reform. Oh, I'm so scared. If only I had armies and powerful allies beside me. Oh, wait. Enjoy your victory while it lasts, because all you see when we're done is the flames of Tartarus. Keep threatening me as if your words mean anything. I'll be here, enjoying my book. <gasps> no, I thought it was gone. I thought- Seems your sister was unable to destroy it, correct? Too bad. She could not foresee the spell I placed upon it. Did you see me as so short-sighted as if I couldn't predict that you would come back and attempt to usurp me? Now, I didn't foresee those elements working, nor my inability to take you down. But not everyone is a prophet. With this book, you will watch as I not only take your citizens, but my allies as well. Even if you escape, retake your power, and by some miracle get to your precious friends, it'll be too late. All the world shall bow before me in my night, and the day will never rise again. <laughs> you won't get away. Spare me your drabble. You speak as if this battle is not over. Look at yourselves. Locked in a cage, magicless, the rebels soon to join you. 
In a matter of years, you will sit here and watch as your world crumbles around you, as each and every friend of yours is brought here to rot. And it'll be all your fault. There is nothing you can do to stop the inevitable. You will stay here and feel the pain I felt for so long. The kind of pain you deserve. How about I make you watch as it all falls apart? I wonder what she's doing. No, how how could this be? <laughs> Performance issues. To think there were books I have yet to see. The world is vast, sir. I meant to ask a question. Of course, the Empire was a surprise, and with this new opportunity, there will be far more to discover and collect. Hmm, this one contains powerful knowledge, much too powerful for their possession. I doubt they even understand. The box is taking care of that. And we didn't touch. Hey, Nan, I need to go to the restroom. Okay, I'm back. The timestamp of when I went back a little would be an hour, 29 minutes, and 29 seconds. This will help me a lot during the editing process. Okay. We're almost finished. Just 20 more minutes. In three, two, one, play. And collect. Hmm, this one contains powerful knowledge. Much too powerful for their possession. I doubt they even understand. Alright, well, we got the last of the boxes taken care of, Doc. And we didn't touch a thing. Just like you asked us. We weren't supposed to touch anything? Uh, what did you do? You had one job! It fell out of the box. What was I supposed to do? Call, Call Steward! Steward. <sighs> what, what is, is wrong with me? <laughs> hey, let me guess. Bad night out with this bitch. We can take her! Who are you, imbecile? Ah! I was wondering when you would notice. So you did this to me! Do not act surprised. You always had a penchant for trouble. My magic! These memories! Oh, those. I was curious if it would happen. Since you were both one for some time, the magic may bring up past memories you shared with Luna, especially in strong, nostalgic places. It is only a brief side of- You will fix this or I'll- Blast me, with your magic as it is right now. <laughs> Please try. I want to see what you can do. How dare you! I am a queen! I am the ruler of the night! And I am a powerful vampire who would love nothing more than to drain every last drop of blood out of your putrid body. Is there <laughs> anything else you wish to share? Something new, perhaps? Ugh. That was one big temper. Oh, Miss Moon, you still have learned nothing after all this time. You... you! If it is such a problem, why not speak to Chrysalis? She is the one who requested I place these restrictions. <laughs> what a bitch. We showed her, right guys? Oh yeah. What did we do? Shall I prepare a sedative? Let her wear herself out. No need to end the fun so soon. Now you come from the shadows. Good to know you haven't run off entirely. I, I demand to have my powers returned return immediately. immediately! Do you think I'd be so foolish? I knew exactly what you wanted the moment you came out. Hence why I asked Filter to restrict you. You... Give it back! 
Acting like a child is no way to earn your magic. Earn? The moment you decide to be a part of this team properly, you will be given some back. How can I properly serve your team if I am not at my full strength? <laughs> Still thinking we are here to serve, are we? Oh, no, 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 no. The only reason I would ever bring you back is because you will keep Luna from being able to use her magic. There are so many others I could have asked instead. In fact, I had enough. I didn't need you until Filter and I had a chat, and he explained by making you a part of Luna would be removed. Even if she manages to restore her magic, she'll never be able to perform all her duties. I thought to let you go on thinking you were a valued member. But hearing you now, seeing how you act, you needed to be knocked down. You. You. I cannot believe you! It's not as if you lack power, and you could give something worthwhile to our team. If I were you, I'd work to ensure your place among us, because at this point, sealing you away would be far less of a pain! <laughs> to be honest, I did not expect that. We are still unable to reach you, but we hope our intel has helped along the way. Expect an upcoming attack from Sombra and the others. Do your best to hide and get out of there. Wish we were there to help, but we're caught up back here. Don't worry about us. We're doing well. We surprisingly met some good creatures here who have been looking out for us. They also have children. You would adore them. I wish to discuss more of our plan when you write back. Stay safe. P.M. Who is this PM? I'm kind of curious what's happening. Princess Cadence, the enemy's nearly upon us. Start evacuating the city. Get out as many as you can. Yes, ma'am. You'd know how to handle this better, wouldn't you? I may have had more time to learn, grow, yet it never feels like enough. <sighs> After all these years, I think I truly understand those long sighs of yours. Is she talking up to Shining Armor? Is he dead? Raisin and Yip are in position, ready to lead out their sections. And the heart? Imposter's ready to go. And you know what to do if anything falls through. Mom, please, this isn't my first crisis situation. That doesn't mean I won't ask. <sighs> would it kill you to humor your mother? Oh, but it would. <laughs> Let's move out. I love to hear Flurry Hard in more projects. She Despite her being the baby on show, she deserves more attention. It was beautiful while it lasted. Hmm, perhaps the crystals do. Now is not the time to play interior decorator. They could <laughs> already know we're here. Second <laughs> wasted is one more to their advantage. I think a nice red and purple scheme. Do I hear arrows? I know. 
but we have to go for the sake of our citizens, our future. guys. Where are you, princess? <laughs> have to pry for my cold dead hooves you will not take me out so easily this time there she is the youngest of the bunch too bad those other alicorns are no longer around to protect you nor your precious shining armor <laughs> Drain her. <laughs> Stop. Something's not right. this meeting in secret. How did they know it was going to be today? Someone's obviously working as a spy. Mm. Quiet. No, truly. I couldn't tell, Tyrik. What an idea you have. Ah. Chrysalis. We've run into a problem. What mess have you two made? The princess and the crystal heart are gone. They knew we were coming. Today. Secure the Icelands. Their resources and territory will suffice for now. We can find her later. There's another problem. One you will not like. I want answers as to where this thing came from, and whatever else you can gather! Assuming it has the answers we need. If not, I have a hunch. Don't worry, I will get answers. One torture session is all I need. I will update you when we find anything valid to go off of. Understood. I'm going to have fun with you, pretty little thing. <laughs> All right, that was the end of the episode. Great, now I have to wait for more. Super Iron here makes some love and Splash Surfer 2116 Stewart Uncle Lumpy Celestia Kari Skulton I'm pretty sure I said it right V card 
Arctic rain fog to project. Oh, pandemonium! Hi! <laughs> Yeah, that scene with the delivery is very intense. It's a good thing that Discord stepped in because it was getting very violent. <laughs> Once again, the artists and the VAs have done an amazing job. And I'm kind of curious why Ivera is so cautious around kids and what her past is. And I'm pretty sure that Norma Moon is upset about her being downgraded, to say the least. And I'm going on a live. Is PM kind of like analysis for one of the main six? Is is one of them alive? Did they survive? I'm I'm curious to know. But of course, I have to wait. <laughs> Okay, that was the end. Once again, everybody had done an amazing job. And I really can't wait for the next episode. So, take care.